Thank you so much, Sherry. Um, I'm here to, we are here actually to introduce uh, Moon Girls. Thank you all so much for the audience. So Moon Girls is an African graphic novel series, heavily centered around feminism, LGBTQI um, rights activism, and just generally challenging and trying to find solutions to problems on the continent of Africa. And I'm just gonna introduce briefly through these pictures, what the overwhelming story and, and war um, it is the moon girls are trying to, to fight. So this is a picture from the from the chapter one of the series introduces what the what the antagonism is. So it is a world order of the Council of the SETI, they who own most of the world's wealth and power and decide the world's rhythm, commerce, arts, politics, religion. And the SETI have actually ruled with an iron hand for 2000 years. They've managed to paint the world with their fallacies. If there's one thing they'd like you to remember when it all ends is the damned phallus. So this is an image of, of the Council of the City or, or a kind of um, philosophical representation of that. And that's basically the war they are trying to fight. This is um, the Oracle of the Moon Girl. She's the one who is most um, connected to the, the spirits, ancient divine masters, and who tells um, what they, what they, def they ask them to do or, or, or the, to fight the war they're supposed to fight. And just a physical representation of what this, this war is about. This is a story, chapter one talks of a, of a sex worker where we introduce one of the, the Moon Girls who is a sex worker. And she actually saves another sex worker from guess who? corrupt police. So um, there's this thing that um, sex work is illegal in, in Ghana and therefore it, um, it opens up sex workers to a lot of harassment, police harassment and thievery. And this is an example of, a, of what was happening. And this was just an introduction into what the patriarchy can look like. Um, Moon Girls is actually illustrated by uh, Animax FYB Studios, who's also here at this stage, I'll, and also produced by Drama Queens Ghana. And I would like them to introduce themselves now at this point. Thank you. My name is Francis Y. Brown, and uh, I'm the creative director and founder of Animax FYB Studios. Animax FYB Studios is an animation and illustration hub based here in Accra, and we happen to be Ghana's first animation hub. Our involvement with this project started from the year 2019, where Akosia contacted me about her idea and um, what she wants to project. And we, we are supposed to produce with uh, a lot of female artists, which we hardly have some around. So we started training some in the, in the studio, brought some interns to uh, show them how to create comics. I was happy to join her and uh, roll with the whole idea of Moon Girls and make it as uh, loud as possible as it can be. So hi, my name is Ase and um, Drama Queens is the producer of the Moon Girl series and we started as a sex ed workshop where we go to schools and any organization that would have us to talk about sexual concerns, to have education and have conversations about it. As time goes on, we realized that one of the means or one of the means of activism that is not being used a lot Campaigning for um, feminism to actually have a stronghold is art. So then we have um, theater where we bring to uh, life, real life stories of things happening around us. So as we grow, we also have the speakeasies where we talk about general taboo topics the conservative Ghanaian will not talk about. And then we have the Moon Girls and also the queer department. So this is who the Queens is and this is what we do. Currently, we have two productions that we are working on. We are working on a production that is fully based on gender-based violence. It's called Until Someone Wakes Up. And we have another one called All of Us that is based on the lives of LGBT people living in Africa. And, and also, um, we have the Moon Girls Book Club. So with the Moon Girls Book Club, we, come, we bring together different people who love the comic and we talk about the comic, the issues raised in the comic. Um, recently, I moderated one of our sessions and it was very awesome. I had Yaba Ama on the panel and I interviewed her on the way she ended chapter nine, which was a bit of an ambush for her. But 
people brought up these issues and we talked about them and broke them down, which was really nice. So those are what we have going on and that's Drama Queens.